Hi, this is Eric with Motion Workshop, and in this video I'll show you how to retarget uh, shadow mocap data onto the UE4 skeleton so you can use it on um, Unreal Engine Marketplace characters. To begin, uh, let's import a uh, take that we previously did with the shadow mocap system here. It's just from the motion take folder and uh, open up the FBX file. So we'll want the skeletal mesh and also the animation data. All right, so here we have that animation. I'll just drag them into the scene. Um, you can see if we open up the anim clip, uh, it's just a kind of waving at the crowd animation. So let's open up that skeleton. So to do the retarget process, use this uh, retarget manager. It opens up in the pane over here. Um, we don't need to worry about the manage retarget source, uh, but we do need to set up the rig. Um, and we will select the humanoid rig first. You can see that it populated this list of source and target joints, joint names. Um, this will is basically a mapping that will uh, show which uh, body segment joints are going to apply the animation to the UE4 skeleton's uh, joints because they're named differently. Um, so you can do this uh, by hand. Um, you can also use the auto map. Um, you can see it, it kind of populated these. They're not all correct. Um, I've already done this before, so let's just load the one that I saved out. It's the uh, shadow bone mapping. And you can see now, if we scroll through, um, it looks like all the names are correct. And um, one more thing you want to do is uh, go to this show advanced and you can see um, there are a few in here that are incorrect. We don't want anything below the hands uh, to be mapped. So just X out any of the ones in here um, that we don't want. So any of, the, um, any of these that have a field that says none uh, will have no animation applied during the retargeting process. So I'm just going to finish Xing these out. All right, that looks good. Oh, there's one more. There we go. Missed a few. Missed a few. Okay, that's good. So uh, let's see. I guess the next thing we want to do is um, we need to select a preview mesh. This is just a, a necessary step. Select the mesh, and then uh, click on Apply to Asset. All right, let's uh, save that out. Um, so we're going to be applying this animation onto the um, UE4 mannequin character. This is just a, from the example content. Um, and uh, so if we browse into the mesh folder, you can see here we open up the mannequin skeleton. Um, here he is. And uh, we'll also need to create a rig for him. So this is pretty easy. Um, just select humanoid rig and then auto map. And all of these will have been applied. Um, and it's the same skeleton, it's the UE4 skeleton, so um, we don't have to do anything to this. Let's save him out and then go one more time back to our shadow uh, skeleton and open it up. Now you can see that um, our shadow skeleton um, hit is in the T pose, whereas the uh, UE4 skeleton was in the A pose. So one last thing we're going to have to do is to uh, manage the retarget base pose and we can um, use this modified pose button. So let's go back to the skeleton tree and we're just going to alter the um, the arm joints, um, which is basically the shoulder joint on the UE4 skeleton, uh, such that we attain the A pose. I think that 50 degrees looks about right. Do the same for the left arm. And that looks good. And go back to the retarget manager pane and go down modify pose, use current pose. So now you can click hide pose or view pose to see what the retarget uh, pose will be used for the retargeting process. All right, let's save this out. And while we're at it, let's just uh, save all. Okay, so now we should be able to right click on the animation here and go up to the retarget anim assets. Uh, this is the, the, the part that actually does, uh, looks like, yeah, uh, we need to go back one more time and set the uh, preview mesh. It looks like it didn't save it for some reason. Um, Skeletal mesh, go down to apply to asset. All right, save it out. All right, the 
animation, retarget, anim asset, go back here. So now you can see we've got the source, you can see our skeleton. Uh, we click on the mannequin skeleton, this is the target. And just click on the retarget button. And now it's created a new anim, anim clip that applies to the um, mannequin character. So let's just drag him out into the scene and play it. Yeah, it looks like it worked pretty well. Um, and uh, so that's that's the gist of the uh, process of doing animation retargeting from the shadow mocap data onto the UV4 skeleton in Unreal Engine. Thanks for watching.